Okay, my friends, once again, it is time to free your political mind. Um, my name is Jay Stan McCauley, and again, it is time for our weekly program uh, on uh, our weekly political program, where we talk about all things politics as it relates to the greatest city on earth, Hartford, Connecticut, New England's rising star. We invite you to join us for the next 60 minutes or so as we continue our journey. Stick and stay. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back. Every bad political decision is made by a politician elected to office. So if you think your vote doesn't matter, just remember this. There are people sitting with politicians in a back room making deals about your future, making policies about your children, making decisions about your neighborhood. To them, you are just a vote. You are not their charity. You are not their cause. You are just a vote. Elections have consequences, and if you don't vote, you are actually voting to keep these people in power to work against you. Now, more than ever, you need to make your vote count. It is time to clear the air and vote for a mayor who is unbought, unbossed, trusted, and accountable to you, the constituent. My name is Jay Stan McCauley. I am an independent thinker, and I approve this message. I'm asking you for your vote on Tuesday, November the 5th, 2019, in the general election for mayor of the city of Hartford. For more information, visit MacaulayForMayor.com. Declare your independence from the plantation of party politics and free your political mind. Okay, free your political mind. <clears throat> that's, at, at least that's how we like to say it here. Welcome aboard, my friends. Let's get started. Tonight, it's going to be open forum. That means we're going to give you uh, all the time that you uh, may need or require or think you need or whatever the case is to get on the phone and give me a call. We'll talk about whatever's on your mind. Last week, I think we were here for almost four hours uh, and we were going over something. I don't know. It was it was long. That's all I know. And uh, so we, we really didn't have uh, much time to focus on uh, questions that you may have had. So uh, what we're going to do tonight, we're just going to start right off giving you as much time as you need to uh, bring up a subject matter that you think is important. All right. Before we get started, though, let's do this. We do this with every program. We call it the Big Share. And that's where we uh, share the experience with friends, family, and foe. That way we keep everybody in the know. We call it the big share, okay? So, let's get started. Let's share the experience. Those of you who, who want to support us can do so by, by taking part in the big share. I don't know what is so different about today's situation, but this is, I'm like most uncomfortable. I don't know, I don't know what's going on here. But uh, that's to deal with live television. All right, maybe there's too much starch in the shirt. I don't know. I just, I just don't know. All right, let's get started with the big share. Uh, first, let's share here with uh, dwelling in downtown Hartford. I think. Uh, let's see what's 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 left. Yeah, no, dwelling in the north end of Hartford. We already shared with uh, the downtown. You know, dwelling in downtown Hartford. We shared with uh, Hartford dwellers. Uh, let's share here with uh, another group called Where They Do That At in the City of Hartford. And uh, let's see here. Where They Do That At in the City of Hartford. That group was started by Shonda Barlow. That, 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 this is an old group. Uh, where They Do That At in the City of Hartford. Another group I want to share with that's uh, a long time that we've been sharing with is a community block watches so let's share with community block watches as well that's a group community block watches in the northeast clay arsenal community so there we go 
All right. <clears throat> Let me see. I need some big share music. And I have a special video I want to share with you tonight. It sums up our whole education, um, our whole education platform, which, by the way, is 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 available uh, on our website at uh, MacaulayForMayor.com. Click on the plan, and you know our whole five point plan is there. I think that's what we did last last week. We went over the plan in detail. Okay. Also, what's there are our official answers to the 11 questions that the Hartford Current put out. So our official statement that we uh, crafted and sent in uh, as the official answers uh, to the current is uh, is at our website. Macaulayformayor.com. You can click on 11 questions. All right. Or if you go to the uh, news and updates, all 11 questions and answers are there. We'll, we'll post them to Facebook. Uh, one one question and answer a day. So I think we're up to like two. All right. So tomorrow or maybe left after the program tonight, I'll put on um, the answer to, to the third question. All right. Uh, a lot of great information there. Uh, but uh, I want to I want to share a video with you that was done by uh, a, by a, two gentlemen over at um, at uh, at, uh, at the Journalism and Media Academy. And, uh, you know, one of the students did the music, two of the students rewrote the words, and uh, the original wording was done by uh, uh, Sheldon uh, Neal uh, over at, um, the principal over at uh, Journalism and Media Academy. And uh, working with Joe Young, myself, and Lift Every Voice and sing Gospel Festival and Fair, uh, has been do had been doing a uh, a youth media digital media program uh, supported uh, in part by uh, the Hartford Foundation for Public Giving. It was a really really great program, and it's been going on since just before Christmas, I believe. And so once a week, I was over there uh, along with Joe Young, who was there twice a week, uh, and um, we uh, we we put together you know a couple of different things. Uh, but uh, one of the things that I was I was very impressed with the young people uh, w with their skill set and the, their ability to uh, produce television programming and uh, they performed for this video and their passion in singing the song to me it, like bring tears to your eyes so I want to share with you the video that we produced um, quite a few different people were involved in producing this video but uh, I'm 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 going to adopt the song as like 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 a theme song for education in Hartford. If if Hartford education had a theme song, it would be it would be this song. So uh, I'm going to play that song just as soon as we get done with with the big share. Okay, so let let me let me continue with the big share here. All right. Uh, next, want to share with a couple of uh, pages. I want to share with uh, MacaulayForMayor.com. All right, that of course is our official Facebook page, Macaulay for Mayor Facebook page. There we go. There we go. I know what's wrong. I can't see glasses. Yes. Never underestimate the power of a good night's sleep, my friends. There we go. That's much better. Here we go. Next, uh, continue here. Uh, another page you want to share with is the Connecticut Black News Network. There we go. And we want to share with one Hartford.com, which is a Facebook page. All right. Page share. And then we're going to take your, your, your questions and your comments. That, that's what we're going to focus on for the whole night. Your questions and comments. Of course, I'm never at a loss for words or something to talk about. But tonight we want to focus strictly on your questions and your comments. Okay? Our last page I want to share with is OneHartford.com. There we go. And post. All right. I don't think we shared with everybody that we normally share with. 
I tell you one thing, I'm tired. I am I am so tired I don't know what to do. It's very, very busy production week. Very, very busy production week. So I uh, didn't get a lot of sleep this week. And for us, the way we the way we, the way we do productions is when we go out on a shoot for clients, the shoot's not done until the production's up and uh, delivered or on the air, whatever the case is. So, you know, you might go out at, uh, might leave here at 5 o'clock or, or 4.30, 4, 5.30 shoot. We come back here, we edit all night as if there's no issues associated with the edit. And I get to bed by 3.30, 4 o'clock, but, that, but we've been working the whole time. So it's not like you're staying up late, hanging out, watching TV. I mean, we were working. And, and I had like two or three production nights. Next week, it's the same thing. Two or three production nights in a row. Next week, I have a production in Bridgeport. So I got to drive all the way to Bridgeport, shoot. Uh, we got a production night here um, as well. Two Two nights here in Hartford and then... Uh, in between those two nights is uh, is Bridgeport. It's on Monday during the day we have so this this week coming up, very 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 busy uh, work week, All right? But who's complaining, right? We need to eat, so that 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 makes that makes the work week worthwhile, because if we don't work, we don't eat, okay? Uh, I want to show this video to you, so don't go anywhere. Stick and stay. We'll be right back as soon as this is over. To be here is our mission, full of purpose. We are driven, we are special, we have pride in who we are, and you can break our stride. And if you see, like I see, you will realize it's not a dream. This school you make it, lesson you take it, and we work as a team. This school is better with you in it. Yeah, yeah, for every hour, day, and minute Yeah, yeah, we are here, we are winning Yeah, yeah, this school is better with you in it In it, in it We are loving when you're here Yeah, yeah Man, the future's when you're here Oh, you realize we do, can't you believe it? Yeah, yeah, this school is better with you in it In it, this school is better with you in it yeah, yeah, this school is better with you in it. Yeah, yeah, this school is better with you in it. Yeah, yeah, this school is better with you in it. In it. Mm. In our school, such a given for you to learn is our mission. When we ver is what we are as a unit, and you can't bring us down. And if you see. Like I see, you'll realize it's not a dream. This school you make it, chances you take it, and we work as a team. This school is better with you in it. Yeah, yeah, for every hour, day, and minute. Yeah, yeah, when you hear everyone is winning. Yeah, yeah, this school is better with you in it. to let you know before you go we know your skills won't fail to show yeah we will call you our greatest prize we know that you'll reach for the skies like a star you come right through i'ma rock with you nothing can break us apart because the school is better with you in it yeah yeah
There you go. And that, my friends, <clears throat> in my never to be humble opinion, is the real Hartford Public Schools. You know, the Hartford school system, there's so many people who all they can do is line up to criticize. And that doesn't mean that the issues uh, get somehow pushed under the rug or we don't pay attention to it. But people need to think about the long-term effects on young people that all they hear is how bad they and their school system is. And after a while, that's what you start to believe. But the truth of the matter is, Hartford Public Schools has great and wonderful students. If they just had a little bit of encouragement from some of the people who go out of their way to get in the way, uh, how much more wonderful would our school be in producing young people who are full of promise? All right, instead of being told what you can't do, what you won't never be, encouraged to become all that you can be because all you need is the opportunity. And uh, there really, really needs to be a rethink on how we as a city look at our young people and education. All right. And, uh, you know, we need a one city, one plan approach to everything that goes on here, as opposed to uh, everybody trying to figure out how they can profit off of everything. The only thing that motivates anybody to do anything is how much money they can make, how, what kind of deal they can cut, what's in it for them, as opposed to actually doing something that's going to empower the people of this city. You know, at what point are we actually going to care about the people that live here? That's just my, that's my like standing question for tonight. All right. Uh, let's put the phone number up in case people do want to call. We'll let you uh, do just that. Our phone number is 860-944-9797. And that will put you in touch with us and you can talk on the air. I do need to see your phone number on the screen. Otherwise, I won't answer the phone. I will not take anonymous calls. So if I don't see your phone number, I won't answer the phone. If you do something that is unseemly, like swear, use racial epithets and all that kind of stuff on the phone, then I will show your phone number to our worldwide audience. And while the whole world may not be watching tonight, at some point, multitudes of people tune into the program. Some people may not watch this program for another three or four months. And when they watch three or four months from now and you call acting a monkey on the phone, well, guess what? They may call you back and you have to get a new phone number. So let's not even go down that road. If you call, please call and call responsibly. Okay. Another way you can participate is, of course, right here. You can make your comments known, and we will we will uh, respond to them uh, as you write them on the um, you know in the comments section uh, of 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 the uh, of Facebook. All right. So we use Facebook as our means to communicate with you. If you want to do like the instant message thing, put your comments in Facebook and I will respond to them, okay? And that's how we do it. We may not be here tonight. I like to stay here for two hours, you know, minimum, uh, one hour. Uh, the general idea here is long form, like radio, okay? Long form, long form talk, radio format. And the idea is that we're here uh, when people stop in and drop by because the audience comes in and out so the longer we're here the more people we reach because more people tune in and tune out tune in tune out that way we've given everybody an opportunity to tune in and call if they want to and so this is how we have a court if you will uh, weekly so once a week i try to do this all right 
every Thursday at 10 p.m. We're live and available to you. And that's how we make ourselves uh, stay uh, transparent and accountable. We're accountable to you, whoever you may be. And you can always call, voice your opinion, make criticisms, make remarks. All of that is possible when you call this number 860-944-9797. All right. And uh, we will uh, we'll communicate. All right. Now, this is open forum. There's no guarantee people going to call. It makes for a very, uh, how shall we say, uh, a, a rambly, babbling type program because uh, I'm not focused on the subject. And I have to do something while I wait for people uh, to chime in. All right, we got a comment here. Let's read what's what's up here. I want to acknowledge the excellent job everyone involved related to honoring Dr. Walter Hurley or Walter Hurley, Walter quote unquote Doc Hurley Sr. This is the start of what Hartford needs in honoring our legends, both living and posthumous. We, AccessTV.org, will be starting a Legends Internet series. On Legends of Hartford, i.e. the Honorable Kerry Saxon Perry, Edric Hall, Reverend Sanford Cloud, Esquire, Lou Brown, Honorary Annette Car the Honorable, excuse me, Annette Carter, Carter, the Honorable Denise Napier. Uh, what's going on with this camera? Maybe the camera's losing its sense of focus. Uh, Harold G. Barrow, uh, Elizabeth Jean Frederick, let's see, Rap Brown, uh, okay, yeah, there's a series that we're going to do, which focuses on some of the living legends here in the city of Hartford. And so as they are make themselves available, uh, we'd be bringing a series of interviews. Those who have passed, uh, there may be individuals around who knew them and would like to speak on their behalf to talk about their contributions to the greatness that is Hartford. That is a series that we've been working on for some time. And uh, we'll see how well we do and what we can uh, accomplish between now and when I become mayor. All right. As the weeks go past, it becomes less and less likely that I will be involved with productions because my time starts to get full. And it uh, it makes uh, it makes it uh, less likely the my schedule is just is getting so busy. It's this is so uncomfortable. I don't know what's going on on this is this has been an uncomfortable setup for like 30 years but it's not usually as uncomfortable as it is tonight i don't know why it's that way maybe it's the jacket i don't know rap smith william rap smith what did i say rap brown william rap smith <clears throat> rab r-a-b um, there we go. We actually designed and built this mic on the air. That's, that's a little known fact. One night when this program was on, it was like for strictly television. This is, this is going way, way back. Uh, we were on the air. And I decided to change the microphone. I think I had a lapel mic. And, you know, I said, you know, I need to find a way to make the sound better. 
So I got a piece of clothes, a coat hanger, and I had some electrical tape, and I built this mic. This is the same mic. All right, it's been, you know, fixed a little bit since then, but the same concept. So this is really nothing more than a, a lavalier mic on a piece of coat hanger. And uh, this, and I've had this mic ever since then, some some like thirty odd years. Okay, so we've had to maybe replace the actual mic element maybe two or three times. But uh, we designed and built it on a live television program many, 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 many years ago. One late night around 1.30 p.m. So we've always had a lot of things uh, in terms of uh, fun and doing... Uh, unique things here on on uh, our live television programs and uh, you can be part of it if you call 860-944-9797 okay empower make someone stronger and more confident especially in controlling their life and uh, claiming their rights that's what uh, brother martin has put down uh, in the comment section, you know, I think if you look at our campaign, if you go to our website, if you if you take the time to look at our platform, our questions, our comments, and our remarks, uh, it all flows together. It's a common theme. Uh, you will find that the whole underlying message of our campaign is to empower. I would submit this for your consideration. There are a lot of politicians that the absolute last thing they want to do is actually empower the uh, electorate. They seek to be empowered by the electorate. So the electorate is, is somewhat like Think of them as a revenue stream of power. They draw their power from you because without you, they can't get into office. And so they see you simply as a vote. Now, the more, not the less, just a vote, okay? And uh, they are not interested in actually hearing what you want and going out of their way to find ways to implement what you want. They're trying to empower you. And uh, I think that as you check out our campaign, what it is we stand for, what we seek to do, if you look at our track record in terms of our public service, my public service uh, to the city of Harvard, it has always been to empower, to give voice to people, all right? To give, to give voice and to give opportunity. So to empower you, our campaign is one of empowerment. How can we empower you? All right. My vision, for instance, for Hartford is your vision. I mean, that, that's my vision. And it kind of sounds like I'm sidestepping the responsibility of having a vision. But quite frankly, it's not the vision of the individual who's in the position of leadership when it comes to elective representation. It's the vision of, of the people. And I say that to say this, vision is the end result of vision is the articulation or the writing down of a solution for what's wrong. That's all. Everybody running for office, vision should be, you know, kind of in the same ballpark because the problems are the problems are the problems. You, you understand what I'm saying? So like if you were on, if you were in a building and the building was on fire, everybody's assessment of what's wrong would be that the building is on fire. So now how are we going to fight the fire and get out of the building? And we're on the 90th floor and there's a fire in the building from floor like uh, 50 to, to uh, 60. You got 10 stories of the building on fire and we're on, we're on, we're on the 92nd floor. 
So how are we going to get out the building? We're going to jump? Right, so, so pretty much we know, we know what the problem is. And so the vision is how do, we, how, to, how do we resolve that? If we're talking about a city where a multitude of people are in poverty, where people are poor, how do you resolve that? How do you fix that? For a lot of people aren't interested in helping individuals out of their economic plight. Okay. If the people have an economic plight, then the city has an economic plight. And if the city has an economic plight, so how do you how do you deal with the obligations that the city has in light of the fact that it doesn't have a lot of money or revenue coming in? So 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 what is your solution? I believe that the best people to contribute toward their success are the people who have the issue. So what do you think should be done? And that's not to, 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 to shift the responsibility on those who are suffering. But a lot of times those who are suffering have an, have, a, have an inkling of what they need in order to resolve it. And so their elected representation or representatives should be utilized to help in alleviating that plight. Not coming up with a grand plan for everybody that's in plight. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's a shared responsibility. So you all have a lot of solutions for what ails Hartford. Because all of Hartford's problems aren't just poverty. We have problems with our economy. We have problems with education. We have problems with workplace culture within the city. We have problems with compliance and transparency, accountability. We have all kinds of problems in Hartford. And it has been my experience over the last uh, almost 40 years, 37, going on 38 years of documenting uh, what goes on in the city and hearing people, listening to people, covering meetings where people have, have talked about what needs to be done. Uh, I've heard people come up with just absolutely off the chain solutions and I have come to the conclusion that the biggest problem with the ideas that these people have is that no one in a position of power that has the will all right in a position where if they had the will to get it done it could get done those people won't listen they won't listen And it really doesn't matter why they won't listen, whether it's, it didn't originate here. It, you know, you can go through a laundry list of, of the whys a thing may be. But the fact of the matter is no one's listening. So you, 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 your, your, your takeaway ultimately is that the people who have been elected to represent the constituency are either one, out of touch with the constituency, or two, don't care what the constituency says and in an elected you know in a in a in a representative republic where your representatives are elected i find that extremely troubling that's that's just me i, I find it extremely troubling extremely troubling all right eight six zero nine four four nine seven nine seven. doc hurley legendary okay living legends are throughout this city and um, if you have an opportunity to sit out and talk to some of them you may want to do so uh, with great haste because many of them won't be around for much longer all right capture some of that history now I would suggest that you do the same for many of your family members you know nowadays everyone's got really great you know, technology with their phones, right? This here is a whole production studio in, in the palm of your hand. And so, you know, you could document a conversation with your grandparents, with your great grandparents, with community members that you think are near and dear. If you're involved in a synagogue or a church or a mosque, uh, there are people who are, are in leadership positions and uh, and older people who uh, attend uh, your uh, social circles or that are in your social circles, whatever the case may be, 
you can document a 5, 10, 20, 15 minute conversation and then post it to YouTube. Post it to Facebook. Do a Facebook Live of conversations with people who you think are noteworthy and, and, and get it out there in cyberspace. You know, you could do this like once a week, once a month, and you start to document the tremendous contributions that people have made. It doesn't take a whole television production studio to do stuff. There's so many, there's so much that you can do where you can be empowered to do things. All right, so empowering. How can we empower people to do stuff? All right. 860-94497. It's open forum. This is what open forum looks like. Open forum means we give you the opportunity to call. All right. If I sit back and start going into a subject matter, then it, it by default stops being open forum. And people start list they get into listening mode instead of contribution mode. All right. So eight six oh nine four four nine seven nine seven. We want to make sure we give everybody at least one hour to chime in. It's open forum. Okay. I have no subject matter to talk about. And I was going to go over uh, our um, written responses to the current in detail, but you know, I'll be here for four hours and, uh, you know, you can just read them for yourself. They're on, they're on our website at MacaulayForMayor.com. And, um, Actually, if you go to MacaulayForMayor.com forward slash 11 questions, that'll take you right directly to all 11 questions and all 11 answers, all in one place. And you can read our official statement as it relates to those questions. And what we're trying to establish uh, is a methodology by which I will answer all questions going into the future. Uh, should we be blessed to become the chief executive of the city of Hartford? Uh, when you call in the open forum with a question, I will give you my initial response. And then the initial response will be followed up by an official statement. All right. That, that to me, that provides you with some transparency. It allows you to see where we are and how we got to the final, you know, our final, uh, now in, in our final assessment, uh, for, for our answer and it bring you on that journey. And the journey starts with the question. The journey starts with the vision. The journey starts with the idea or the, or the proposed solution. And then we go from that to delivery of the item. And that's how you hold people accountable. You hold them accountable by, you know, setting the charge for them and then do they deliver it's not good enough for people to say they they try you know you know it's trying well you know we try but no 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 that's that's weak all right i'd rather hear someone say that that we failed at the attempt to resolve that issue and here's why we need to do something else because people come up with these excuses, you know, to justify why they were unable to to accomplish a task. It would you just didn't, you failed. There's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes things don't work out. That's all. And you you and you move on. And 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 then I I think when you do things that way, it gives people more uh, and more. It allows people to have a more realistic expectation. Okay, so if you go to MacaulayForMayor.com forward slash 11 questions, that's it, like the numeral 11, you know, with the two ones, all right, at MacaulayForMayor.com forward slash 11 questions, that will take you directly to the website and all 11 questions will be right there. You'll see the question, the written answer, 
And once we move beyond the first paragraph or a, a, like an initial statement, that, 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 that capsulates the heart of what we're trying to say and then it, it unfolds with the rest of the uh, with the rest of the answer and then it, it then there's a you know a conclusion all right so there's the 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 there's our our think of it kind of like a, 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 a micro executive summary then it flat, it, it uh, fills out and then the conclusion every Every one of the answers to the questions from the current is structured that way. All right. So once we give our little, what I call a little micro executive summary, okay, is a video of the initial question and our, you know, our, um, our initial response to the question. So then you can look at the initial response and then read what our final answer to the question was. And you can see where it either built out or where it was, you know, where, you know, where it, uh, where, where there is a dramatic change. There is no dramatic change, but in case there was, you'd be able to, you'd be able to see that. And that's, we did it that way on purpose on purpose because that's how you that's in my opinion that's how you provide transparency okay we believe in modeling the behavior that we expect from others all right we model it others talk it but your talk is cheap others talk it we like to walk it all right there's the talk, talk, and then there's then there's the walk. And so you know, talk versus the walk. A lot of people talk the talk, others walk the talk. So, you know, where are we going to see the outward manifestation of the desire to get a thing done? See, the desire to get a thing done is great, but that doesn't change anything. It's sort of like if you see a brother over, uh, if you see a, a brother destitute and hungry or a fellow passerby on the street destitute and hungry, you say to him, well, be fed, go away and uh, do well. That doesn't help him. That doesn't help her. What are you doing to help resolve the issue? All right. One of the greatest ways that people uh, resolve issue is by having a study of the issue. Nothing frosts me more than a study being the answer to somebody's problem. Well, you know, we're going to convene. Uh, uh, we're going to convene a special uh, a special task force to look at this. We're going to bring in experts, and we're going to we're going to look at at the at the potential that could come as a result of of, of continuing uh, with this mindset. But we must be sure so. Oh, we're going to get a consulting team in here and we're going to study the problem. And then, you know, six months from now, we should be able to uh, uh, start to peel back some of the layers of the onion and, and bring you a, 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 a report that will, will, that will give us what we need to move forward uh, with an answer for you. Please. That's a nice way of saying we're not going to do a doggone thing about it, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Your house catches fire. You don't need the fire department to come down and do a strategic analysis of the cause of the fire, the potential that the fire could have on your structure to figure out whether they should do an interior, aggressive interior attack or just pour water on it and maintain. We, in fact, we don't even waste water on your house. We put water on everybody else's house around yours so the fire doesn't jump off your house onto theirs. You know, uh, you want them to come put fire out. But, you know, a lot of critical issues, uh, it seems as though that's the approach that people take. We'll do a study. We'll do a study. Task force. And that's not to say that task force, task forces can't be useful 
And certainly they can be useful. But uh, the right tool for the job is always preferred. You don't use a screwdriver to put a nail in. Use a hammer, right? You don't use a hammer to drive a screw. Get a screwdriver. The right tool for the job is always the preferred method. All right, 860-944-9797 is open forum. Uh, we will be here for at least one hour, which gives us 14 more minutes. Uh, and we're, you know, we're going to keep it open forum. I'm not going to, I'm not going to uh, dive into the weeds and do too much in terms of, um, you know, conversation. Uh, but uh, we want to give you opportunity to uh, call in with whatever questions, comments, or criticisms that you may have, particularly as it relates to the Macaulay for Mayor campaign. All right, take a short break. Let's listen to this, and then we'll be right back, hopefully with some phone calls from you. How do you define evil? Is it the pedophile school administrator? or taxation without representation? Is it the gatekeeping community leaders who sell out the very people they are fighting for? Or is evil the politician that puts out lies and takes in cash? However you may classify evil, having to choose the lesser of two evils still leaves you with evil. Nowhere does this rule apply more than during an election for mayor. Choosing a candidate that is the lesser of two evils still leaves you with evil. No wonder so many people don't vote. It's time for constituents to flip the script and vote for a mayor you can trust. My name is Jay Stan McCauley. I approve this message and I am asking you for your vote on Tuesday, November the 5th, 2019 in the general election. I, like you, am an independent thinker, so let's sit down and talk about my path to victory and why my plan for Hartford will work. Stop listening to the uninformed evil interests that tell you I can't win. For more information, visit MacaulayForMayor.com. It's time to leave the plantation of party politics and free your political mind. That's what we try to do here at least once a week, helping you free your political mind, rescue you from the plantation of party politics. Imagine how many minds we could save had they only realized that they were enslaved. But you know, some people like the comfort zone of plantation politics. And so they uh, are not likely to uh, step outside the box and do anything that might be uh, even remotely like uh, moving forward an agenda that is in line with their conscience and the way they think. You know, people won't vote their minds. They want to vote their mind. They want to vote their conscience. But then they ask themselves, well, you know, I don't know if I should vote that way. I better ask somebody. I'm just saying. Where else can you have this much fun? 860-944-9797. It's open forum. It is Thursday evening. It is the 6th of June. It is, uh, uh, if you're watching us on the East Coast of the United States of America, it is about 10.50 in the, in the evening, in the p.m. All right? Daylight savings time. We, 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 we have the capacity here in the United States of America to change time. We, we bounce it forward, we stop the clock, we move it backwards, you know, that way we can have more sunlight in the evening, uh, you know. So we have daylight savings time here. So whatever time it is in New York City, that's the time it is here in Hartford, Connecticut, for those of you that are, are watching us uh, in other parts of the world. A friend of mine who watches us in South Africa uh, has a PhD and she is going to expand her degree and has an opportunity to come to the United States and attend uh, one of the uh, 
uh, upper echelon uh, educational institutions. Uh, she has studied all over the world, but um, she uh, does some real deep stuff. Um, and so she may be coming here to uh, the United States and be close, you know, relatively close to the Hartford area. And it would be great to get her mind on some of the issues here in the city of Hartford uh, as it relates to um, crime. She, she does stuff in that area. And so um, it'd just be interesting to be able to tap her, her mind, particularly coming from South Africa and having, uh, you know, awareness of, of how they resolve some of the issues in her country. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, 860-944-9797, it's open forum. It is uh, your time. Uh, we try to do this. Uh, we, we do the program once a week. Uh, but uh, open forum, uh, we we do from time to time. I mean, the line's always open for you to call. But true open forum is what you're experiencing now. And uh, the problem with open forum oftentimes is nobody calls. I'm not begging you for calls. I'm just I'm trying to point out a broadcast uh, conundrum. Uh, if you truly do open forum, you have to talk in ways that resolve nothing with your conversation because you really want the audience to weigh in with resolution. And uh, people can be waiting for you to make sense and talk about things that are substantive so they don't call. The other problem with open forum in a town like Hartford is that Hartford is so small that when you call, everyone knows who you are. Everybody knows who you are, okay? And so, therefore, anonymity is, is, goes out the window. It's very hard to maintain a sense of, of, of people not knowing you from Adam when you come from a town so small that just the way you say hello, everyone knows exactly who you are. Okay, you go to a public event and you know half the people in the room. I mean, you, you literally know, K-N-O-W know, you know half the people in the room, the other half are people you've seen. So that's how small Hartford is. Small town, very small town. You watch somebody do something on a, on a video in Hartford and you know where they are. Oh, that's over at the Phoenix Club. Oh, that's oh, that's a uptown vibes. Oh, that's at the Ukrainian at the, at the Ukrainian function hall. Oh, that's over by the McCook House. I mean, you know. Oh, that's over by Mark Twain. Oh, be, be, that, that's how small Harvard is. Oh, that's over at Harvard High. Okay. Oh, oh, that's over at Weaver. Oh, those pictures are from the old Weaver, not to be confused with the new Weaver, not to be confused with the reconstructed Weaver. So, I mean, Harvard is. Is that small? So that presents an issue if you're going to try if you're going to try to give people opportunity to weigh in on their opinions, particularly in a, in a town like Hartford where every decision is a political decision, and so people might like to call, but if you call, that might be misconstrued as tacit support for Stan. So you can't call and talk. Because then people will know that you were watching. And if you were watching, you must be, you know, curious or maybe supporting. So all of these things are very, very uh, highly charged decisions. Whether you make a like on something, uh, whether you make a nasty face on something, all of these things can be misconstrued uh, for all kinds of stuff. So people particularly in this climate and in this political season, uh, open forum doesn't work well. But just because it doesn't work well doesn't mean we won't extend the opportunity because nothing works better for me than one hour of open forum time and no critic call.
for the last 37 years of doing this type of program. Nothing works better than no calls because that means that everyone had the opportunity to make a public statement of condemnation and they chose not to. And that, my friends, is worth its weight in gold because you can't have it both ways. You can't say that Stan is wrong about this, Stan does that, this, that, and the third. But then when Stan gave people opportunity to make and hold him accountable publicly, they didn't do so. And that empowers the people who are standing with Stan. So that when they hear folks say, well, Stan is Stan, all you have to do is say, well, how come you didn't call? What do you mean? No, you should have called him. Call him on Thursday. He'll be on. 10 o'clock. Watch. Call. I'll be waiting to hear you address it publicly. Because see, a lot of times people like to talk, but that's all they do is talk. So we always offer people an opportunity to call in. Whenever I broadcast live, I always give people an opportunity to call. That number's been the same for so long. I don't even know how many years this has been my my number to my cell phone. And people can call, people can call and talk to me, not my secretary, not my executive assistant, not the call screener, not my wife, not the children. You call this number, only person going to ever answer the phone is me. So, questions Comments, criticisms, call me directly. Call. I even give you the opportunity to call and make your comment live on on a medium where everyone will hear it and it'll be on the public record. And we do this specifically to silence the critic. As painful as an hour of time of nothing substantive said, it's worth it. It's worth its weight in platinum. In my never to be humble opinion. I wanna play this song one more time. This is done by a group of young people produced this song. I believe it ought to be the school song for the entire city of Hartford. And I am adopting this song as the theme song for my education platform. It is called, This School is Better With You In It. Stick and stay. The young people attend Journalism and Media Academy. Here is our mission, full of purpose. We are driven, we are special, we have pride in who we are, and you can break our stride. And if you see, like I see, you will realize it's not a dream. This school, you make it, lessons you take it, and we work as a team. This school is better with you in it Yeah, yeah, for every hour, day, and minute Yeah, yeah, we are here, we are winning Yeah, yeah, this school is better with you in it In it, in it We are loving when you're here Yeah, yeah Man, the future's when you're here Hope you realize we do, can you believe it? Yeah, yeah, this school is better with you in it Yeah, yeah, this school is better with you in it. Yeah, yeah, this school is better with you in it. Yeah, yeah, this school is better with you in it. In it. Mm. And our school, such a given for you to learn, is our mission. When we burn, is what we are as a unit. And you can't bring us down. And if you see, like I see, 
you'll realize it's not a dream. This school you make it, chances you take it, and we work as a team. This school is better with you in it. Yeah, yeah, for every hour, day and minute. Yeah, yeah, when you hear everyone is winning. Yeah, yeah, this school is better with you in it. to let you know before you go we know your skills won't fail to show yeah we will call you our greatest prize we know that you'll reach for the skies like a star you come right through i'ma rock with you nothing can break us apart because the school is better with you that song and I really 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 love that song and it's quite powerful I, that's the sentiment of the young people that wrote the song and produced the music to go with the song I think it's a hit record You know, school's better with you in it. It's better with the community in it. It's better with the teachers in it. It's better with the children in it. It's better with the young people in it. It's better with politicians and elected leadership in it. It's better with the faith community in it. It's better when everybody is in it to win it for the students. One city, one plan. That's the approach we need if we want to have students who are winners. All hands on deck, everybody doing what they can to help make Hartford Public Schools the best schools that they can be. You have folks sitting on the sidelines waiting for Hartford Schools leadership to fail before they would help. Don't like people. And then you want to, you, you, you have expectation that the children are supposed to act like adults when adults act more like children because they don't like a particular person and therefore they don't want them to have success. That's not a climate for success. You don't think the young people can sense what's going on? So if you have young people checking out and they don't care and they're just roaming the halls and they're just sitting around cussing out teachers, there is a, there is a systemic issue in terms of the climate and the culture, not only within the school, but also within the city and among the adults that allow that kind of activity to perpetuate. All right. So what you see is the symptom of a greater problem. And if you ask me, it is a problem of leadership. And you can't have, you know, elected leadership with these kind of problems and, and they don't and they and, and they get a pass on what's going on. They don't. They can't. Someone has to be responsible and someone has to take 
the mantle of responsibility in that when the thing doesn't go well, there is a fault. And a fault doesn't mean that you get you know, hung out to dry necessarily. It means that you're now responsible for making sure whatever is necessary to make a change happens. When something doesn't work, you have to change it. Strengthen it, repair it, do whatever you have to. Right? It's like he that is overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one. All right? That means that if you see somebody that is is in, in trouble because they've been overtaken by their fault, if you have the capacity to, and now to, to analyze what that fault is, what the problem is, then the burden of responsibility for the restoration of the individual is on you. Because you, you have the wherewithal and the, the ability to make the assessment of what's wrong. So then what are you doing to make a difference? What are you doing to help make the change? You have a responsibility. That's my approach to problem solving. If there's a problem, then the burden's on me to help fix it. To the best that I can. So if we want to fix what's wrong with Hartford, we need a one city, one plan approach to doing that. And the idea ought to be how do we restore Hartford, a restoration project. It's like you buy an old used car. And you want to restore that car. Now, you know, the penny pincher, the person that doesn't value what it can be or what it was, will say the cost of restoring that old vehicle is a waste of money and time. Why not just throw it out and buy a new car? They're throwing good money after bad. Well, that's the attitude that many have as it relates to Harvard. Oh, those people aren't there. They're worthless. Oh, they can't. This, that, the, you know, let's bring in a whole new group and, and quality of we'll upgrade the city by upgrading the people who make up the city. Push the bad elements out like in the like in the comedy uh, animated classic ants. OK, they needed a better grade of ant. So you wash the whole colony away and bring in a new super colony. New, new. Right. It's, you, Kill everybody and we'll start new. You know, like like colonizers. You land and there's an incon un inconvenient presence of people who are native to the area. All right. They're native relative to your arrival now. Whether or not they were there from the dawn of time, who knows. But they were, they were there when you got there. And, of course, you see them as an inconvenient presence to your plans for the future. So you got to get rid of them. That doesn't work for me. That doesn't work for me. And by the way, colonizers cannot do this on their own. But there have to be people who aid and abet all colonizers. All right, so. You have indigenous collaborators. You want to talk about collaborator? You want to talk about collaboration? All right. All politics is local. Who are the local collaborators in the colonization of Hartford? There's a question for you. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to run through the rest of these commercials before we leave. That is for certain. So stick and stay. I'm going to do this one more commercial here and then we'll be back. Independent thinkers are Puerto Rican, Mexican, Peruvian, Indian, Bosnian, Italian, Irish, Jamaican, African American, European, straight, gay, Nigerian, transgender, Christian, Jewish, Muslim, short, tall, skinny, rich, poor, happy, sad. Some of us hold a PhD and others a GED. And though we may be Democrats, Republicans, or members of the Working Families Party, 
we all have escaped the plantation of party politics and become independent thinkers because we as individuals are more than a party. You see, independent thinkers come from all walks of life and the one thing we all have in common is that we love, live, laugh and learn in the city of Hartford. We are the constituents and the government of Hartford belongs to us. My name is Jay Stan McCauley. I'm an independent thinker, and I approve this message because it's time to stop towing the party line and vote for a candidate you can trust. I'm asking you for your vote November the 5th, 2019, in the general election for mayor of the city of Hartford. For more information, visit MacaulayForMayor.com. You too can escape the plantation of party politics if you have the courage to free your political mind. Mm. Having more fun than politicians should have on on the air, right? JC McCauley, good evening. How are you? Oh, gee, no, I don't want to be live. Um, I'll call you back. Okie doke. All right. We're still here, my friends. We, we've not gone home yet, so. We're, we're still here. A lot of times people don't want to talk on the air. They want to talk. They want to talk off the air. Okay. So if you want to call and you want to talk on the air, there's the number 8609 4497 nine seven we are live giving you opportunity to weigh in with question comments we're t plus one hour and uh 12 minutes right uh so uh we are we've been on for one hour 12 minutes i said i would stay here for at least an hour all right at least <clears throat> one hour and so we're making good on that we're here an hour and 12. Now, there's some people who don't normally tune in till after 11. And so, you know, sometimes I feel like, well, if I leave before midnight, those people would have had an opportunity to call. You know, because it's open forums all about giving people opportunity to call. Yeah. So we set the tradition up now. We, we start the tradition now. Should we uh, be blessed with the opportunity to serve the great people of Hartford after uh, January? Uh, we won't know in November, but uh, you know, uh, this is something that will continue. And uh, I, uh, I am certain <laughs> that uh, as mayor, when we do open forum, uh, there will be plenty of people who call. That that I do know for certain okay but for right now it uh, is always a, a tough row to hoe as they say and I've been doing talk format radio and television for some 40 odd years I've done talk radio and uh, in a town like Hartford talk radio is very very difficult okay uh, it's different if you're on a you know a fifty thousand watt flamethrower like uh, uh, the mighty WTIC or something like that, uh, and then uh, you know because you reach much further than a singular area, so you reach the whole basin. You I mean you reach the whole state. All right, so up into Massachusetts, Connecticut, a little bit of Rhode Island, um, so at some in New York, you 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 have reach. So people will call in from all over the state. But uh, any place that relies on phone calls from a small little microcosm, you know, like WKND is 500 watts. All right, so the reach isn't that wide. Uh, DRC, I think, is 5,000 watts. It has a little bit bigger reach, but... Um, you know, uh, audiences are funny. Audiences in a town as small as Hartford, where everyone knows everybody. They're listeners. They're listeners. They'll talk in circles where they feel comfortable, but if the wrong element is present in the room, people get real quiet. 
I mean, I've, I've, I've attended meetings in this town for 40 years almost. And it's interesting to hear people talk about this, that, and the third. And then when the very individuals they talk about come into the room, crickets. Crickets. Because nobody wants to go on record. Yeah, so everybody everybody fronts with this, you know, happy face and everybody wants to, you know, have this sense that, that we all get along and everything is fine. Because, you know, Harvard's a go along to get along town. And so folk go along to get along. Don't ruffle any feathers. It's a small town. People remember have long memories. OK, and so folk, you know, by and by, surely and surely. You know, mind your business, keep your mouth shut, stay in your lane, and folk are good. And that that does not present a great audience for talk radio, where people are gonna be controversial talking about stuff, because people will know that it was you that said that. And then you know, when you see them in private session, or not, or or you know, you you out in a small class, folk will say stuff to you in a heart. Folk will come up and they'll say stuff to you. I heard you on the radio the other day. You think you know so much. You ain't nothing. Okay, so I mean that that happened. Nobody wants to nobody wants to have to deal with that. So they keep quiet. Okay. But we still, in light of knowing this and having 40 years of experience, which goes way beyond data, okay, of of of, of experience, observing it, witnessing it, experiencing it. I still do so. Why? Because I want to give people the opportunity. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> this is why we don't do open forum as much as I would like to because of that. Okay. And so, you know, next week uh, we will probably more than likely um, talk about something uh, of more of a crucial nature politically all right now i want to remind everybody that there's a couple of forums coming up the african-american alliance forum is on the 22nd of june it's at uptown vibes and we have tickets we have tickets a ticketed event the tickets are 35 dollars for this event it's a fundraiser for the african-american alliance it's a donation of 35 dollars i have 10 tickets here that I purchased. Okay, so I have 10 tickets and uh, you know, uh, someone can purchase them to help alleviate me of the $350 deficit on my wallet. Uh, but some of these tickets, I think we will absolutely positively uh, give away on the program. There's another ticketed event uh, this coming Friday, not tomorrow, next Friday. Friday is a uh, event that we're having called a Juneteenth for you. That's a ticketed event and it's presented by the Macaulay for Mayor campaign. So if Macaulay for Mayor presents a Juneteenth for you, it's going to be like no other Juneteenth that you've ever attended. It's going to really be a nice event. It's going to talk about, you know, the millionaire mindset and talk about economic emancipation, if you will. So freeing your mind from the political plantation well how about freeing your economic situation from uh, that same plantation so we're going to be focusing and 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 uh uh on on new businesses uh on the entrepreneurial spirit now on you know everyone can't be an entrepreneur there's a there's a saying that businessmen are not created they're born OK, so, you know, you either born with a business mind or you don't. OK, and so we want to encourage those who do have the entrepreneurial spirit to step out boldly. We're going to have a gentleman. His name is Frank Dixon. He is the founder of the Black Business Alliance, and uh, he uh, will be coming uh, up and um, uh, being a, uh, he's the keynote, he's gonna be the speaker uh, at the event. And he's gonna talk about what it takes to be in business, to have a small business that grows to a medium business. Um, and because it's Juneteenth, 
uh, we're going to have all kinds of uh, food that is represented of the uh, African diaspora in terms of food. Uh, so it's going to be at the Artist Collective. I believe it's 1200 Albany Avenue. Most of you that are in the city of Harvard are familiar with, it, familiar with where it is. If you go to Facebook or Eventbrite, you can purchase your tickets there. And uh, we really, really uh, look forward to seeing you there. I can tell you the tickets are a lot cheaper than $110 or $190, which is how much the other Juneteenth gala type thing is going to be. Ours is going to be more for the common guy. We call this bougie free. Okay. Some people don't like that, you know. I know a thing or two about bougie I ran my mother's Mercedes off the road uh, when she brought it home from the store the very first time. Well, she didn't, well, not store, but the car. So I understand bougie -ness. All right. Uh, being, being, a, being a bougie in recovery. Okay. <clears throat> I really don't like bougie uh, But that's another subject for another day. Okay. Uh, there's the West End Civic Association. They're going to be having a candidates forum, which should be very, very good. I understand that it's going to be at the Connecticut Historical Society. Uh, there is the candidates forum downtown for the mayor. Mayoral candidates forum will be June the 26th, starting at 530 at the Hartford Public Library. All right. We... The Macaulay for Mayor campaign will also be having an event at the Hartford Public Library at the same time in the room next door called Re... Re... What is it? Is I Re... I should know the name of these events, right? Particularly when our organization is putting them on. Um, Reimagining... Oh, re-rigging. Re-rigging the rules. And it is going to be a very, very uh, empowering workshop that you will definitely want to want to attend. So if you go to the other one, by all means, stop by ours uh, while you're there. Okay. Whatever questions you would have asked the candidates, you can stop by and ask me. I'll give you plenty of one-on-one -on -one time and explain to you uh, where I am on those positions. Okay. So that's on the 26th. There will be a mayoral candidates forum put on by Hartford Votes. Hartford Voter Coalition, which is a coalition of nonprofit and uh, other type agencies in the city who seek to empower and educate you in terms of what your options are politically. Except that I won't be participating in this one because it's only for those individuals who are participating in the primary. Though there are probably people participating in the primary who, if they don't win, will go on to be in the general. I'm just telling you up front. The primary is not our path to victory. Uh, we've made that known from the very beginning. And so we've been asked not to participate because we're not in a primary election. We're not going to be on the ballot and we're not trying to get on the primary ballot. Okay. See, that's what you call transparency. We're, we're transparent about our intent. It'll be interesting to see how many people that don't make it past the primary, but go on to the general and were disingenuous in terms of allowing you to know that in advance, okay? And so, you know, people talk transparency, but there's a big and a monumental difference between the talk and the walk. Always has been, always will be, all right? So if you want someone who's going to be transparent and accountable, here I am, my friends. All right. So stop by re-rigging the rules from 5.30 until 8 o'clock or 7.30 because the library closes sharply at 8. You will be out of there by 8. Okay. And so uh, we're going to be uh, explaining the difference between the primary election and the general election and why the general election is critically important and what the primary election is really all about and why it also is critically important. And it's very important that you understand the difference between the two and that you keenly understand why we are not in the primary election. 
uh, nor are we fronting uh, to be in there so that we can, you know, move on through to uh, the general. All right, we're just going straight to the general. So that's on the 27th, I mean the 26th. Then there's going to be also another one uh, forum for can council candidates. We have not decided yet whether or not accesstv.org will cover the council candidate forum. There's an outside chance that we might, but, you know, we're really backing down our productions here at the network because it requires so much of my time to do so. And, um, you know, I really, all that is in me wants to cover it. I really want to cover the mayoral one too, but I just, I, I can't, I, I can't, you know, I'm not going to give my opponents a voice <laughs> in a contest that I can't participate in. Um, that, that just, you know, there's foolishness and then there's being the fool. I, re I refuse to participate in that exercise. Um, so I'm just being, I'm just being, I'm just being transparent and honest with you all. So, um, uh, but what we will do is this. We will be recording all of the questions asked at the mayoral candidates forum on the 26th. We will answer every single question put forward by the candidates, the audience, and the moderator on our program the following day. So on the 27th, which will be Thursday, I will answer all of the questions here that I was unable to answer at the forum because I was not uh, allowed to participate because I'm not going to be in the primary election. But that doesn't mean we can't answer the questions. So I think that you all should know what my answer to those questions will be. So we will do that on this program because fortunately for us, we have a well-established platform by which we can disseminate information uh, to the general public so that they are not left in the dark as to what we believe. And then I will rely on those of you that are out there to disseminate it wherever it is that you all share the program online and through uh, email and uh, through your social settings. All right. So that's what we'll do. We will we'll participate in the in the, in a vacuum, if you will. All right. So we'll answer the questions the next day. Unfortunately, I won't be able to be I won't be bound by the three minute rule, because you know, we have all the time in the world. So um, we'll answer the questions the following day. On this format here, and I think that's I think that's a fair solution to the dilemma that is presented and that I can't participate. We will participate in absentia. I think that's the term they use. Okay. So that's the deal. But next Friday, a Juneteenth for you. If you would like some more information, you can call me at 860-944-9797. You can go to Eventbrite or you can go to Facebook events. June the 14th, all right, and you can get more information. It was a little, it was listed in the, in the society section or the living section of the uh, Hartford Current over the weekend. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a really nice event. Uh, you'll have lots of fun. Uh, we're going to try and make this an annual event, okay, where we highlight entrepreneurs and people who are uh, looking to uh, uh, start out their, their businesses and things like that. There are uh, uh, quite a few different successful people who uh, we believe have been unrecognized. So we're going to give out, have a little award for them uh, as well. And then there'll be some vendors there. This is going to be, you know, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be nice. A Juneteenth celebration. All right, celebrate Juneteenth. Last commercial break, then we'll be right back. Stick and stay, don't go anywhere. What happens in the voting booth stays in the voting booth. Even if someone wheels you up to the polling station after buying your groceries or paying you by the hour to door knock, you still can vote like an independent thinker. 
Vote like you're demanding better police accountability. Vote like you're demanding functioning schools that put Hartford children first. Vote like you're demanding your mayor puts Hartford residents and neighborhoods first. Vote like Hartford's government belongs to you, the constituent. Because to the party, you are just a vote. However, to me, you are a constituent, my boss, and I work for you. So when you go into the voting booth, have the courage to vote your conscience and vote for a man you can trust to be accountable to the constituents of Hartford. My name is Jay Stan McCauley. I'm an independent thinker, and I approve this message. I'm asking you for your vote on Tuesday, November the 5th, 2019, in the general election for mayor of the city of Hartford. For more information, visit MacaulayForMayor.com. And remember, what happens in the voting booth stays in the voting booth. Escape the plantation of party politics and free your political mind. I was thinking about, you know, maybe covering the election. I don't mean the election, the uh, the uh, the forum for uh, council candidates, and then put my commercials all throughout the forum. And I don't know that that's that's like over the top self serving. So, you know, I um, you know, but you know what 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 television program with commercials isn't self serving for the people who are running the spots, right? I mean, you know, that, that just uh, seems unseemly, though, you know, but I think I could get I could get around that. But I don't know. Maybe I'll cover it. Maybe I won't. OK, I think Harvard Public Access Television will be there. That means someone will be covering it. And so I won't I won't feel bad for not covering it. But we've covered every last one of those uh, over the past couple of years. And it seems like, you know, it's it's sort of like being missing an in action to me I, I, I really love going to these events and covering them because they're so engaging and the, the community turns out and people ask great questions and it's just you, you're like you're right it's like being in there it's like front row seat at a boxing match uh, to cover what goes on in the community and to be you know front and center for all of the conversations that Hartford is having is very very satisfying and um, missing out on that is um, is quite challenging. It's challenging. That's all I can can really say. All right, my friends. I think we'll call it a night. One hour and thirty three minutes. That's an hour and a half. So we did ninety minutes open forum. We gave people plenty of time to call in if they wanted to. Uh, we had no one call, which means all hearts and minds must be settled. If people don't have any comments, no criticisms. No unseemly remarks. I guess we'll call it a day. All right. I think what I will do, though, is because I do love this song so much, I really do want you all to, uh, I want you all to share this song. You know, share it to the max. Share it, share it, share it, share it, share it to the max. Um, this was a very, very, um, how shall we say, um, a wonderful experience working with the young people over at uh, JMA and uh, you know they're graduating uh, most of this little group that we were in is graduating so they're gonna go on and go on to college and go on to other uh, uh, adventures in life and um, they are really a talented uh, group of young people I had the opportunity to be interviewed by this group in terms of why I was running for mayor and what I thought in terms of education, um, the young lady who, um, her name is Reagan, the young lady that interviewed me was phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. And I do believe that uh, it will be something that we will be able to get a hold of and share. It was taped uh, over at CPTV. Uh, it will air on one of CPTV's uh, outlets one of their channels uh, I, I think it's also going to air on um, on Fox 61 at some point 
and I was told that it might even make some national news because of the fact that it's a political nature and that it was done by a group of youth. Now, the reason I mention that is because I want you all to understand that the quality of this program, they did it. Okay, do, 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 nothing I could teach them. They already know what they're doing. They just need opportunity. Okay? They did the cameras. They did the floor directing. They did the directing, the technical directing. They did the audio. They did the lighting. I, they did They did the production. I walked in, and, and production was ready to go. I sat down. They mic'd me up. They went through it. They had to do some pickup shots because I think they had a technical problem. So they did the pickup shots where uh, they asked uh, where she repeated some of the questions again. Uh, it was a full fledged top flight professional television production. And it was done by the young people that you'll see in this video coming up. All right. And that's that's what they I mean. All they need is opportunity. And that's the tragic thing. And the reason I bring it up, it's a tragedy that the young people of Hartford only need opportunity and it isn't given to them. And them not having opportunity, in my opinion, is criminal. It's criminal. They ought to be able to sue for malpractice. Okay. So we as a city have to move beyond uh, this pettiness that uh, is crippling uh, the human potential and capacity to move forward as a city. All right. And we really need to rethink how we prioritize um, what it is that we do here, because in the end, the people who suffer are the kids, you know, our young people. And the young people are the future of any society. And so if there is no willingness to unite around our young people, then it speaks to a very, very deep-seated problem in this city. And it's something that we need to uh, overcome. All right, I'm not gonna uh, uh, pontificate any more than that. Uh, but as to say, as we go off the air, I'm going to play this video one last time. And uh, I am adopting this video as our official theme song for education. This is, to me, this ought to be the school song for Hartford Public Schools. Not for Weaver, not for Belize, not for Hartford High, not for Bulkley. All right, not for JMA. It should be for every single school in the city because it speaks to why school is so important and why every student, every adult, every teacher, every union person, every construction person, every community person, all faith leaders, everybody should be in the schools, corporate, big business, small business, everybody should be in the schools. The schools are better with you in it. And most certainly, the schools are better when the students who are the primary purpose, the only reason <laughs> that any of those folk have a job is because of the young people. Because of the young people. And I don't care what hurdles you may think they have, if you sign up to be involved with Hartford Public Schools, then you sign up to help them overcome those hurdles. You help them to be successful in spite of whatever hurdles they have. I don't care if it's if it's tra trauma-induced stress. I don't care if it's poverty. I don't care what the problem you may think. The problem is moot compared to the solution you have to come up with. All right? You want to go on the battlefield? Then be prepared. That's all. All right? Teaching urban kids ain't easy. So if you can't handle the stress, then you need to find something else to do. That'll be my position when I become mayor. God bless you. We'll see you next week.
To be here is our mission, full of purpose. We are driven, we are special, we have pride in who we are, and you can't break our stride. And if you see, like I see, you will realize it's not a dream. This school, you make it, lesson, you take it, and we work guys. This school is better with you in it. Yeah, yeah, for every hour, day, and minute. Yeah, yeah, we are here, we are winning. Yeah, yeah, this school is better with you in it. In it, in it. We are loving when you're here. Yeah, yeah. Man, the future's when you're here. Hope you realize we do, can you believe it? Yeah, yeah, this school is better with you in it. In it, this school is better with you in it. Yeah, yeah, this school is better with you in it. Yeah, yeah, this school is better with you in it. Yeah, yeah, this school is better with you in it. In it. Mm. And our school, such a given for you to learn, is our mission. When we burn, is what we are as a unit. And you can't bring us down. And if you see, like I see, you'll realize it's not a dream. This school you make it, chances you take it, and we work as a team. This school is better with you in it. Yeah, yeah, for every hour, day, and minute. Yeah, yeah, when you get everyone is winning. Yeah, yeah, this school is better with you in it. to let you know before you go we know your skills won't fail to show yeah we will call you our greatest prize we know that you'll reach for the skies like a star you come right through i'ma rock with you nothing can break us apart because this the school is better with you, you.